G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews today. Uh, I got some motors from Hobby King, the Multistar Elites. Now I did take a quick look at the Multistar Elite 2204 motors and they looked very well made but they really didn't quite stack up on performance. They didn't really just put out the power that even the, the cheaper quantum motors put out. So got some of these 2206 motors. This isn't an unboxing because I can't get the damn box open. Ugh. Jump cut. That was a real pain to get open. The box is such a good fit. The top's such a good fit over the box that it has a sort of an air seal and you can't pull the damn thing apart. So yeah, um, a big thumbs up for the box. Now, okay, what are you getting here? You got these four motors, because this is for a quadcopter mini quad. Okay, these are supposed to be sort of, you know, high performance mini quad motors. You get a little bag of things, you know, the little hub and the little bolts. There's two clockwise, two counterclockwise. Now, I've already had a quick look at one of the motors. I just took it out of the, you can see this one wires poking out, I'll show you. So, take it out and you can see the motor itself, it's got a little base, this is a bit unusual because quite often the base of the motor acts as the, the attachment area, but this one they've got a separate base, it sort of comes up a bit like that, it's probably quite good because it means a bit more clearance for your screws, um, and look at the size of those bearings, look at those huge bearings, that's great, one of the things about these that should be really tough, and a 4mm shaft I think it is, maybe even, yeah I think it's 4 mils. it might even be bigger, it might be 5, I should get my calipers on there, but anyway, took this motor out of the box, thought woohoo, look at that, and then I Hello, what's going on here? Look, um, it's solid, it's, it's locked. The motor won't turn. It's just, you can hear it. I hope you can hear that. I'll do it by the microphone. There you go, see? It's locked solid out of the box. It's a dud. So I uh, haven't checked any of the others yet. I'll try one of the others, see if that's better. Ah, let's have a look. Come on, come out of the box. The packaging just, you know, can't get stuff out. Here we go. Oh, that one's all right. Look, this one's nice and free. Spins, woo, look at that. But this one, uh -uh, not doing anything. So, as usual, if there's a dud, I'll get it. So I've got a dud one. What am I gonna do? Well, you know what I do when I get a dud one? Let's just not look at it or throw it away, I send it back. Let's pull it apart and see why it's dud. Is it the bearing or is there something caught between the magnets and the stator or is perhaps one of the magnets not lined up properly? Don't know. Let's Take the bugger apart and see what's inside. Now a little tip for someone that's never taken a motor apart before. You notice how these little circlips on the bottom here. Um, you've got to get that off. But these things, they go ping and they disappear. So do it inside a plastic bag. Then when the circlip pings off, you'll find it in the bag. And then you won't go cursing and swearing because now your motor's missing a circlip. Okay, I've got the circlip off now. So we can actually, should be able to just pull the belt off. Ooh, there we go, belt's off. And let's see if we can find what's going on. I'm picking, there's probably a bit of crap that's got caught in there, you know, part of the production process, and it's just jamming between the stator and the bell. Let's go to the macro view and see what we can find. Let's take a little bit of a look in here and see, and I can actually see something already, I think. Um, hang on, I'll get my little screwdriver now. This is a bit awkward because I can't see the LCD screen when I'm looking at the bell, so I'm probably going to get my head in shot, but is that a piece of crap in there? Um, let's have a look. Looks like a bit of crap here. Yes, here it is. Look at that. Look, look at this piece of crap. I'll get it out, see what, what it is. Here it is. Let's take a really close look at that and see if we can work out what that is. Okay, there it is in a close up. Now, hmm, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. It is magnetic because if I put my screwdriver on it, you'll see that it will get uh, picked up. There you go. See, so it's magnetic. Um, oops, where's it gone? Oh, there it is, off to the side. It's magnetic. Um, it's kind of shiny. Looks got a, got a curve in it. Was it some kind of washer or something? Some kind of, I don't know. It's um, hmm. But uh, I'll have a close look at the bell. It might have just no. It shouldn't be a piece of epoxy because that wouldn't really have a uh, a magnetic quality. One would think. So let's have a look, close look at the bell and see what we can see. Um, should get that out of the way so it doesn't get stuck back on the magnets. Um, anything in the bell here that, anything else that looks pretty cruddy. Let's have a look, there we go. So we can see the magnets are, they're recessed into that green part of things. You can see there's a glue holding them in. And this looks like some blue Loctite on these holes. No, that's balancing by the look of it. Looks like they put some gunk on there to balance up the bell. That's quite good. It means that these should run really smooth if they didn't have pieces of crap in them, of course. Um, there we go. Let's make sure there's no other bits of crap in here that are going to cause an issue. Um, now, one of the things that I say, if there's a dud, I will get it. See, they've balanced the bell there too with some blue crap. Very interesting. I mean, it speaks to high quality when you've got this kind of attention to detail. Let's have a look at the stator. How well is that wound? 
we can get some focus on here. Come on, here we go. Um, as you can see, that's you know the windings are very good. Look at the size of those bearings; they're huge. What is it? Hopefully, it'll focus and we'll get a we'll be able to see what the bearings are. Maybe it won't. I think we're just beyond the focal range of the camera. Hold on, I'll try and lift it up a bit because we have the technology here. Here we go. No, here we go. There we go. So there's our bearing. And I still can't read it on the, here we go, 684, a 684Z. So it should be four millimeters, I think. I'll just put a, put a ruler in here and we'll measure it. Which means that this is really good because these bearings should take a punishment on a mini quad. Obviously you have a lot of uh, banging going on. Yep, there we go, four mil internal diameter. Four millimeter bearing, so it's a four millimeter shaft. This should be a very, very tough motor um, because normally the shaft on the 22 millimeter bells is a three millimeter so this is a lot more meat and it should be a very tough motor but as i say um quality controls caught them out caught them out with that piece of crap in the bell not good at all hobby king did they even spin that motor up i doubt they did because i don't think it would have kept turning or well, didn't turn it was it was actually jammed so no bad bad so now i'll have to put that motor back together i hate it when you have to put these take the circlips off because the, the circlips are never as tight when you put them back on i don't have any spare circlips uh, so I'm going to have to just put it on anyway and hopefully it will stay or I'm going to lose a bell and a prop if I try and fly these on a mini quad. So stay tuned because I will be reviewing these motors. I'll put them on the test stand. I was going to do it now but I've, with all the farting around of that, I'll be reviewing these motors on the test stand. We'll see sort of, what sort of power they put out, how efficient they are, as I usually do. And also I'll weigh them because actually they, mm, they're not the lightest motors. But uh, yeah, the build quality looks good. Um, quality control, crap. So... There you go. Got questions, got comments, put them in the usual place and I'll do my best to address them. I better check the other motors actually while I've got them here. Maybe, hopefully it wasn't a bad batch or something. They didn't have magnetic sprinkles all through the factory when they made these things. So I'm going to take the other ones out and just see if they also turn freely. And here's another one. Yeah, that's a good one. And one more. Oh, man, the packaging, honestly, I don't know who designed this. It's so damn hard to get these things out. Can't get the box open, can't get the motors out, never mind. Yeah, yeah, that one's good too. So it was just one of those things. Sad, but as I say, if there is one of those things, you know who's going to get it. So if you're sending me stuff to review, it really does pay to make sure that it's not broken before you send it. <laughs> I bought these from Hobby King for the normal retail price. No favours. Um, there you go, so stay tuned. Um, and now I'll get back to the bench. Bye for now.